Today is going to be a specific video on African spitters, the two African spitters that I currently get to work with. Um, just uh, I want to see for myself that if the Rinkals have modified fangs of a true spitting cobra or not. Um, I got mixed results from some South African experts. So yeah, I want to see if they actually do indeed need to rear up and sort of lunge their venom at you um, compared to like a Mozambique spitter that can just rear its head a little bit up and use its advanced muscles around its venom glands to actually spit that venom as well as it having a 90 degree angle on its hollow fangs to project that venom upwards even from a lower position. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take out a Runkhaus and a Mozambique spitting cobra. I'm going to neck it, lift it up so the fangs are exposed and just maybe massage the venom and get a close-up shot of where the venom actually comes out just for me to see and i thought i might as well film it um you know but yeah i'll hop into getting a run car size and i'll see you guys there so i have the glove on at the moment um to neck this guy because i also want to um i want to lift up his front nose scale to actually show where his um fangs are and I don't know if I can... Please don't bite yourself. Please stop biting yourself. Please stop biting yourself. So yeah. There's his fangs. But what I want to do is... Get... At the top there. And you can see there squirting straight down not not at 90 degrees like that of the Mozam so I guess my theory was right <laughs> that these guys do not have modified fangs that they actually have normal fangs and they use that lunging forward motion to actually project their venom and that's how they spit just must have been an evolutionary sort of thing but yeah I'm gonna let this guy go that's pretty sick to see. I don't know if you guys got a close-up view. I might try and neck him without the glove and try and do this again, but we'll see. His fang is right there and as you guys can see straight stream there no angle no nothing the blood from him um from his lower jaw is just him biting me well not biting me fuck i would be going to the hospital right now but biting himself trying to get to me but you guys can see there that these guys do not in fact have a modified fang for spitting so they do indeed need that lunging forward motion to actually get their venom to propel their venom forward pretty sick um so as you guys could see from that, that was a straight stream of venom, no angle to it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool to see that these guys actually have adapted to spitting their venom when they lunge forward like that. So I think that sort of proves that they need to rear up to actually spit their venom, which is pretty sick. But check how gorgeous it's like. Give it a little kiss on the nose there. Absolutely stunning, stunning. I'm gonna move on to the Mozambique spitter and then maybe we can see a difference. Ciao. So I'm just gonna be necking the Mozambique spitting cobra real quick. He knows what I'm trying to do. He's a very, very smart animal. Very, very calm as well. Not putting up, not doing anything, not even spraying venom as of yet. But yeah, hopefully this goes well. Just wanna be as gentle as possible. Obviously necking is one of the more dangerous things you can do as a snake owner. It is sometimes very necessary 
and for what? I'm doing this out of interest sake because of what I was told that true spitting cobras actually do have modified fangs to allow them to spit from any position and the runcals do not and that's why they land forward when they spit but let's see here I've got the Mozambique you guys can see the size of this guy absolutely insane but let's see his venom we'll show you his fangs first small little front fixed a lapid as doesn't want to spread all but you guys can see there he's in the process of shedding his fangs it's absolutely insane but what I want to do is I want him to sort of see if he'll spray his venom for us there you guys can see you see the difference between the the Mozambique and the Runcast this guy he went straight. The, the stream was straight up, so those fangs are at a 90 degree angle. So if he was looking at me like this, he can spray directly into my eyes. <laughs> um, obviously, I have the glasses on for that exact reason. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't want to spray at my girlfriend, but if she does some movements, he might spray some venom directly at the camera. There you guys can see. Um, I think it's sprayed literally at, at the camera. You can see that 90 degree angle compared to when the Runcast was straight, straight down. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous animals these guys are. But yeah, um, so what, because I was a bit confused, um, I'm just going to let this guy go. Because um, I asked some South African experts about the matter, about the fang identification, well not fang identification, or if Runk, well, I asked if Runkals had to rear up to spit, and they said no. So I just wanted to see if that was true. Um, obviously, you guys saw that he can still eject his venom, but obviously not very accurately. It's going to be straight down. So, yeah, that was the main reason for wanting to get these guys out. I wanted to see for myself, and I thought it would be quite a cool thing for to show you guys as well. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As you guys can see, that he is a bit pissed off, but he wouldn't be after getting restrained behind the head. But he's still pretty calm. Still one of the more calm Mozambique spinning cobras I've ever seen. Haven't dealt with many, obviously, they don't occur where I am from, but you can see how beautiful these guys are. Huge, huge venegams to store all that cytotoxic venom. Um, especially for spitting as a self-defense mechanism um, with a neurotoxic component in there as well absolutely gorgeous gorgeous animals still even though I trust this guy quite a bit I still wouldn't want him close to my hands but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and as always I'll see you all in the next one Peace.